He's got troubles here, and he knows it. Really sweating now. Second away, round five. Round five, four rounds to go. Still no score. In fact, very little sign of any pinfall chance here. A couple of submission chances, but these two powerful fellows very seldom submit, as they're really in trouble. the double wrist lock, back hammer position, Robert. Didn't quite get it. Gets the back no, hammer, no, can't no, lock it. No. No, 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 no. Just about got it no. locked down. Hammer lock. No. 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 Still Robert's hoping for submission from this. Roach reaches his other hand round to back to try and help his way out of this. Holding on to that uh, back hammer. This is really quite properly locked off. Roberts realized it goes for the double wrist lock through there, but couldn't quite get that either. Nice switch by Rose. Oh, well, beautiful posting. And Roberts in trouble with a knee drop now. The fellow down press. Full press. And he's got him. The first ball to Pedro in round five. And it took him just one minute. 29 seconds. Three to go. Remember Roach in the plain black trunk. Back to us on the right there. Leading Pete Roberts. One fall in that. Body check by the big man from Burnley. Caught, nice side headlock, Roberts. Whipped out, but he took it well. Came on the back, mid trio with a perfect holding press, and just inside the ropes, he's holding. Beautifully done by Roberts. side of the forearm jab the back of Roberts so he looked up as if to apologize for uh, making it all late. Quite unintentional. Make it for a leg lock. Roach. And Roach thinking now on a side surfboard if he can get his man up. Turns him the other way to give himself more room. Now can he do it? He's got the head and the feet. Yes, there's the side surf forward, a beauty. And a tremendous backbreaker there. Can Roberts hold? <laughs> Looks like he can, and he has. Cross press. And a round of two pinfall chance there to Roberts. What a counter that would have been.
Referee right down there in case. Now he rolls him out. Neatly done by Roberts. Now it's just a question of how much that back has been weakened for that box. Second time he's done that. Very, very effective move. Hammer lock to Roberts with 15 seconds left. No, no, no. Eight seconds. No. Five. No, no. No, he won't get it. And the bell helps Pat Roach out this time. And it needs Roberts to push that back hammer down. Round. Eight, one each. The next score is the one that really matters in this final three minutes. Or will it be a draw, which I must admit that uh, Pete Roberts have shown you very happy giving away three stone and making a draw out of this one. But who knows, he's sprung a tremendous surprise. left arm loves that move Roberts does it again but this time standing position standing hammerlock nice quick shoulder check from underneath there. two minutes left in this box Elbow guillotine drop. Up comes the forearm uppercut. Ooh, Robert's doing exceedingly well in this final round so far. Again, the guillotine this time with the knee across the front. Just 90 seconds left in the bout now, and it's Roach coming back with the forearm uppercut. Check. Oh, his body checks on me. Yes, again. This time, Roberts got it underneath and nicely tied. Left team walked into that Roach's right foot. And he maybe looks as though he might be staying there. Seven, eight, up at nine, but only just very weakened. One minute to go. Roach now, the drumming chip bump. He's going to try it if he pulls him forward onto his front knee. That's it. And the Robert Jabba, very dangerous move indeed, a road speciality. And I don't think Roberts will continue very much longer here. There's 40 seconds to go, but Roach 